Wait a second. They don't brew anything down here? It's just storage? Here we go, into the belly of the beast. To be honest with you, I have read all the Spectrum vodka I've had over the years. Me? I'm fully just fine.
That's a long way down. Anyone else want to toss a big cart down there and wait for the sound? No? Just me, huh? weapons, folks. Could be anything.
Yes, I know you're hungry. Be patient. I'll feed you soon enough. Just a guest. The one I told you about. The inspector. Welcome. We were just talking about you. You and I are standing in the presence of royalty. Don't worry, you'll meet her soon enough. I know what you've done. Hijacked Phaeton. Contaminated the air we breathe with your poison. You think you've saved this colony? All you've done is robbed Halcyon of its last chance at real happiness. And you've angered my queen. Nope. I got tired of listening to this jackass when he called us on the ship. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to feed you to the queen, and then I'm going to find a way to repair the damage you've done. Don't be afraid. She can smell fear, and it makes her absolute... Your Highness! Dinner is served. No, not me. Damn! Merciful law!
you made it. I guess happy customers really are repeat customers. Here, I had something I wanted to give you. This is a golden ticket. Good for one free tour of the purple berry. Well, no, I suppose I appreciate you for all types of reasons. For example, despite your obvious talent for violence, you're not killing me. That's a reasonable point, friend. But it turns out you didn't need my help at all. I do regret the untimely demise of our broodmother, but my passenger is flooding my brain with all sorts of happy feelings, so I don't mind all that much. Oh, that's what I call the slug I bonded with. It's gonna be a part of me until I pass through the gates of oblivion and my atoms scatter into the void. I must have dreamed up a hundred different ways to kill Ludovico. I'll be honest, eaten alive by the Queen of the Brain Slugs wasn't on that list. 
Is that so strange? I imagine that this moment would be a little more cathartic. But Linda's still gone, and I don't feel all that different. I can't go back to the way things were. I can't return to my old life because it was never my life to begin with. It was shared. <sighs> never mind, you don't need to listen to this. Thank you again for your help, Captain. I never would have made it this far without you. Ludovico was eaten by a giant slug? What an absolute tragedy. Welcome back, Captain. Or shall I call you Inspector? What can I do for you? During your absence, I passed the time by simulating a number of hypothetical conclusions to this case. Unfortunately, my understanding of the facts is limited, and my appraisal of the individuals involved is not flattering. Therefore, my conclusions are... Inaccurate. I have been awaiting closure for the details of your investigation. However, I have also been keenly aware of your absence. I have a growing library of information about you. Attitude, behavioral tendencies, dietary habits, sleep patterns. Cataloging human behavior is essential to maintaining my simulation protocols. Will you satisfy my curiosity subroutines and tell me who killed Halcyon Helen? Administrator Ludovico killed Halcyon Helen? I have been pro- 
programmed to simulate contempt and mild surprise. Mr. Ludovico had the audacity to hire you to solve a murder he committed? I am contemptuous and mildly surprised. This information is valuable to me. I will update my behavior simulation protocol accordingly. Thank you, Captain. How can I be of assistance? May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems too common for humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. Definitely won that round. You always seem to, huh? That's because I'm usually right. Next time I work. I'm receiving an urgent docking request from another vessel. Greetings from the Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of certainty. I've got a special delivery for Alex Hawthorne of the Unreliable. Uh, with your permit... With alacrity. Stand by, Captain Hawthorne. An HPS certified distribution technician has deposited the parcel into your cargo hold in accordance with hazardous weight. On behalf of HPS, I'd like to remind you that HPS has not responded. Thank you for your patience. Hey, you got a minute? Hawthorne, uh, if you're getting this, something's happened to me. Got mixed up in some shady business on Gorg and should have known better. But I landed on something big. And now this job's an itch I can't stop scratching. There's a whole research compound left of the Sprats. Think I'm close to figuring out why. But something dangerous is closer to me. Got the job through one mini Ambrose. Top runner who just came in some money was offering a hefty bid card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. Talk to Minnie. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. Well, that fellow certainly seemed trustworthy. I've gotten jobs from some unusual sources, but this is a first. 
Congratulations, Captain. I don't mean to sound prim, Captain, but there's got to be a better way to ask someone to do you a favor. I just want to say, we got to take this job. This is the closest I've ever been to starring in a serial drama. Only thing we're missing is a couple cameras and a soundtrack. At least this won't be boring. to show off his battle scars. I get the feeling he won't be flashing this one around. He was also the fourth best paid freelancer in the system. This had less correlation with his measured aptitudes, which rank at or below average, than with the pattern of fortunate circumstances. does not exist, Captain. I have transferred the coordinates for any- Welcome to Ambrose Manor. We were not expecting company. Please follow. Do not stray from the path. Don't worry, little fella. We're mostly law-abiding folks. <laughs> oh no! We should check to see he's alright. Diagnosing diagnostics.
I'm getting goosebumps. At the very least, there ought to be something worth feeling in there. Something here don't feel right. Join me for drink, Mr. Whoever you are. So who the devil are you? You don't say. Well, make yourself at home, Captain. I'm sure we have much to discuss. Do you see that glowing chunk of space rock? That's Gorgon. My birthright. My burden. And the bane of my existence. I hate to drink alone, and this is my third. So join me in raising a glass to Gorgon. To Gorgon. May cosmic winds shepherd her to the nearest star. I'm Wilhelmina Ambrose, but you can keep it short and call me Minnie. Now, what brings you to my house, handsome? I take it you didn't come all this way for the beverages, the starry skies, or the pleasant company. A severed arm. How positively ghoulish. You know this is a private residence, not a curio shop. Lucky Montoya is my personal freelancer. Fascinating man. Very brooding and theatrical. Always 
he's staring to space and twirling a bullet over his knuckles. He's definitely not doing that anymore. But if something happened to him... Oh dear. I suppose that makes him my former freelancer now? Thank you. But the people in my orbit come and go all the time. Occupational hazard. What a time for his luck to run out. We were in the middle of something grand, and I really can't afford it. Funny that you should bring that up. How would you like to be my new freelancer? There's been a recent vacancy, and I think you're well suited to the job. Remember, play hard to get. That's negotiation. You offer work to everyone who breaks into your home? Must be some kind of Byzantine tradition I know about. I'm looking for someone rough around the edges. A gorgeous, dashing scoundrel type. Incidentally, someone good with their hands. The man lost an arm. What are the odds of that happening twice? Of course, Gorgon is a treacherous place. And my own family's involvement with it has been fraught. Allow me to lay out the facts, and you can decide for yourself if you want to be my chief investigator. My mother, Dr. Olivia Ambrose, worked for Spacer's Choice at the Gorgon Research Facility. She was brilliant, the top scientist in her field, until tragedy struck. One day, Spacer's Choice shut down all research and evacuated Gorgon. Everyone had to scramble or risk getting left behind. It was chaos. Employees fled for their lives. Mother... ...never made it home. I'm told she wasn't the only casualty that fateful day. It must have been real hard on you, losing your mother all of a sudden like that. I'm sorry to hear it, ma'am. Thank you. Ambrose ladies are supposed to be resilient to the unexpected, but this was especially hard on me. Mother's name has since been dragged through the mud. Spacer's choice blames her for the collapse of Project Gorgon, and I just know that they're lying. My thoughts exactly. Mother would not have allowed Project Gorgon to fail. Something happened on that asteroid, and my family took the fall for it. The truth. Mother is gone, Gorgon is silent, and I deserve answers. That will depend on what we learn. The scope of this cover-up is enormous. Whatever Spacer's choice is hiding could bring ruin down on their heads. Or it could be another dead end. We won't know till we look, will we? We start where all of this began. With Mother. Whatever happened on Gordian wasn't Mother's fault. I simply need the evidence to prove it. We're going to drag the truth, kicking and screaming into the light. Even if it means bringing ruin and humiliation to Spacer's choice. All the evidence I need should be in Mother's journal. You can find it in her office on Gorgon, in the heart of the old research facility. I believe you're the first person- When you reach Gorgon, pack a weapon you trust. The corporate lockdown hasn't- There's a little saloon near Gorgon's landing pad, the Sprat Shack. Lucky was renting a room, so if you want to follow his trail, that would be the place to start. I think I've heard of that place. Cheap whiskey, rough crowd. You'll love it. Oh, you think maybe they got a little mascot? Like a Sprat and a tiny hat? Just so we understand each other, money is no object. I'm willing to- Between your payment and any salvage you happen across, You'll walk away from this rich enough to buy a mansion of your own. How does that sound?
The cat? No one's ever done this before, and the only person who tried is a corpse. Believe me, that's enough. Here's your nav key, Captain. Safe travels. A word of advice. Mother's office is in the heart of the Gorgon facility. Mysterious errors, unexpected gainful employment. It's like something out of a detective serial. It's not theft if she's giving us permission.
last long on Gorgon, I'm prepared. You looking for supply, stranger? Stuck up here. If you run low on bullets out in Gorgon's far reaches, there ain't no one around here liable to help. Let me know if you're looking for... Huh? Oh, you don't know how to worry about that. It's got something to do with that Scrap Spacer's Choice project from way back. Damn, Alarm's been hollering at us for five years if it's been a day. You know, I don't dream anymore. It's all... Please evacuate in an orderly fashion. I won't stop you if you want to have a go at it. But so you know, it's going to take more than giving that control terminal a good old-fashioned pummeling. I know, because even Von Hoffman couldn't bash it in. And I seen that tough son of a gun throw a man clean across the scratch jack one time like he were a toss ball. Found a pickaxe in the mine like none I've ever seen before. Could be awful useful if you're the violent type. Come here. Let's have a chat. All right, the inspection time. Look at my eyes for as long as you can without blinking. Starting now. Good. Look up. Now look down. Thank you. Got him from my mother. You're doing swell. 
Now, name and occupation. Good enough for me. You're clear to pass. That was a sanity check. If you had changed like the others, it'd be in your eyes. You also... Welcome to the Sprat Shack. Watch yourself out there. Smell that? Cheap whiskey and stale cigarettes. My kind of place. It's been an eight since I had a good trip of kale. Hope they've got it on tap. Welcome to the Sprat Shack. First one's on the house, and I won't even water it down. What will it be? Bottoms up. I assume you're here for salvage. Can't help you there. This ain't exactly a library. Most of my regulars are sublight scavengers. They pick over the ruins of Gorgons, spend their earnings at the bar, and uh, head back out the next day. Vicious cycle. But that's life. You're the first new face I've seen in a while. Lucky. Sure, I knew him. He could get a little dramatic at times, but he was a good guy. Heard he took on a dangerous job. Spent a lot of time coming and going from the Office of Creative Incubation, just down the road. That's where the top runners at Spacer's Choice came up with slogans of marketing. Lucky never told me why it was so important. Oh, awful shame about what happened to him. You really want to hear my story? <laughs> Lol. Most everyone around here is sick to death of it by now. Last I saw of Lucky was a few days ago. I went outside for a smoke and a stroll, and I saw this wild canid dragging a bloody limb. So I kicked the cane and scared it off. Get this. The canid was chewing on an honest-to-law human arm. Lucky's arm. I'm a bartender. Attention to detail is my middle name. Anyway, the arm was clutching a phonograph that mentioned someone named Alex Hawthorne. I did some poking around, and this Hawthorne has a reputation among the, uh, <clears throat> salvagers who frequent the bar. So I packaged up the arm nice and tidy and sent it care of the Halcyon Parcel Service. They even gave me a discount on the hazardous waste removal stamp. <laughs> no kidding. And now you're here? Colony feels smaller than you'd think some days. I'm glad I was here to see this uh, confluence of events, you know? The stars really aligned on this one. And here I am, smack dab in the middle. Third floor. Once I figured he wasn't coming back to pay his tab, I left his room unlocked to air it out. You can help yourself to anything you left behind. Fair warning, I've been letting the regulars use it for a quick lie down. Just wash your hands when you're done. Trust me. Good, I've got... I wouldn't get too close to that railing, just in case. You're on the lot of this place. You don't look like one of the salvagers, no? You don't really seem like the type. You've got the look of someone who's traveled far to get here and whose journey's far from over. Confidence. The scavengers around here, they're faking it. You're the real deal. 
I don't know if you're bound for the old runes, but in case you are, can you look into something? I'd do it myself, but of course, the marauders would eat me alive. <laughs> um, looking for something out there. Been paying Sublay to help me, but they haven't made much progress. It is to me, but apparently it's junk to sublight. My husband and I worked on Gorgon during the good times. Jerome was on maintenance duty. I cleaned out test tubes till they sparkled. No, we're good, that's for sure. In his final hours, Gorgon was a war zone. Violence broke out in the labs. The hills were full of marauders. You couldn't take a leisurely stroll without an armed escort. When the order came through to evacuate, non-essential personnel drew a lottery to see who would board the first wave of ships. Jerome won. I lost. As soon as I wasn't looking, Jerome switched our tickets and pushed me to the front of the line. I got to leave. Jerome stayed behind. I never saw him again. That Jerome always chose the right thing, even when it got him killed. This place is greedy. Took my Jerome, and it would have taken me too. I just want one thing back. His old hip flask. I gave it to him the day we signed our marriage contract, and he carried it wherever he went. I know it's still here. You'd really do that for me? Oh, and I'll bet you're worth ten of those sublight brats. I don't have much, but if you help me, there's a little set aside for the occasion. Jerome used to drink with his buddies in a small kitchen opposite the maintenance shed. Might be a good place to check first. Why'd you want to meet here anyway? I thought we could have some fun in the ruins. Huh, who's this now? Wonder if they could... Ah, who am I kidding? Holy shit, a fresh face. Haven't seen your light in years. Don't know what brought you to the most dangerous corner of the solar system, pal. But you're welcome here. Oh, you talked to Lex yet? She tell you to keep it civil? You wouldn't guess to talk to her, but that lady's got a mean left hook. She'd tell you I was a journalist back in Byzantium. Got into reporting thinking I was going to be some sort of public intellectual. What a joke. Spent 95% of my time playing stenographer to the board. And the rest, writing puff pieces on the chairman's latest beard trim. Real life and death shit. If you're going back out there, do you think you'd be willing to do an old bastard a small favor? Told you I was a journalist, right? I was here on a story back when Project Gorgon was active. I was doing an interview series for Spacer's Choice. Recorded them all on these little portable phonographs. But when everything fell to shit, Spacer's Choice wouldn't let me leave. In terms of my reporting contract, unmet, they said. Right on the money. Look at me, I'm no fighter. I've never even touched a gun. But you, you're just the right amount of rough around the edges. Help me get my recordings back so I can finally get the hell out of here. No shit? That's... All right. One of them I stashed in the office of Creative Incubation, in the projector room on the third. I gave another to my friend Bertie to keep in her apartment, just outside OCI's upper entrance. You'll find another in the chem lab. It's in the main lab storage room. The final one is in human inquiry and auditing. It's tucked behind a pipe in observation room B.
While with the test subjects running loose, the researchers were... Strength to your sword arm, friend. And thank you. What's the story with this place anyhow? Used to be a shipping warehouse. Supplies came in. Deadly. There. Adrena time, I think. Count some in an old bus. Someone's in here. Oh, lol. It's coming back up again. You're a humbug, Trixie. And worse, a thief. I've eaten my fair share of terror wise, but I'm still gonna come out and say it. This mission is gross. I'm just hoping we don't need Lucky's arm to open something else.
this place is starting to remind me of home. Asshole, what are you doing? Hey, hey, you got those drinks? Don't tell me it's glacial age again. I knew they'd come this picky. The year's the year. Hey, what if we celebrate getting anyway? One year on assignment. Only 10,000 more to go. No shit. And that makes it one year trapped in this goddamn closet. One year getting chewed out by Olivia Ambrose for doing our jobs. One year drinking stolen beer. And one year as partners. I'm in crime. Partners in crime. Hey, you okay? Your face is all red. Let me get you some water. Hold on. Partners, Georgie? Are you out of your mind? Get it together! They didn't want to tempt them, why did they lock it up?
Can't keep it down. Now it really feels like home. Huh? Let's keep moving before we get all introspective.
This is my second month on Adrena time. It's like the color came back. Like I was tuned to the wrong bed all this time and now the static's gone. I'm finally clear-headed, focused. There's so much I'm excited to do. I feel like me again. Side effects? I guess I've noticed people staring at me a lot more lately. Hard to talk to them sometimes. Feels like they don't get it. Maybe they just don't trust it. Or maybe they don't trust me. Never seen a corporation spend this much on a place only to let it rust. Uh, excuse me? Except for Monarch and Scylla and Emerald Vale. Okay, I can't get back.